Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to today's installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. I want to thank you so much for joining me today, as always. It is appreciated. So today, we're going to make our first junkyard run uh, for the Aztec. Uh, it's the first junkyard run that I've had to actually make on this thing in a while since I've started driving it. Um, yeah, one of my favorite... Uh, one of my favorite functions of the car broke on me a couple of nights ago, and I am highly, highly upset about it. So, to be quite honest, whether this junkyard run is going to be a success or not, I don't know. <laughs> but it's worth a shot anyway. If they have what I'm looking for, I believe it's only $20. And as of right now, $20 is looking a lot more better than the hundred and some dollars that... I might have to spend on a new one. So, um, I haven't driven it in a few days. This will be its first start, like I said, in a few days. I'm also going to, as you can see, our towel is down. And uh, we you know we got, it rained yesterday and we got snow and stuff. So as you can see, I'm still getting water inside the car. Um, I can't have this anymore. This is getting ridiculous. So for the time being guys I think I'm uh, I think I'm going to seal the sunroof uh, with some silicone um, and then maybe sometime down the road depending on how long I have the car maybe I'll, I'll actually pay a service to um, fix this properly I don't know why this keeps happening I I did clean out the drains I know this drain is um, for some reason you can't see it but it is it keeps coming out of the wherever it should be to drain so that's why the floor is all wet is because it's dripping onto the carpet from inside the the pillar there um, but I don't know and for some reason I'm still getting water coming through the sunroof button like it is today that's why the towel is down I tried readjusting the window I wonder if maybe the seal is bad or something but I think um, I'd like to do it today, but it might be kind of difficult. Um, if it stays dry a little later, we're gonna buy some silicone and we're going to seal the window up. And then that way, I think um, when it comes time to be fixed, I don't think silicone is too bad to, to remove and, and deal with. Um, or I might just leave it and say screw it. Uh, I do like having a functional sunroof, but this is, it's ruining what, <laughs> It's ruining what's left of the goodness of this interior, and I can't, I can't, I can't do it. So, if we're, if that's the route we gotta take, then that's the route we're gonna take. Let me turn that down real quick. Here we go, first start up in like, I don't know, almost three days. She starts like a champ. She starts like a champ after everything this car has been through. It is amazing. Um, we just passed our 2,000 mile mark not that long ago. So, 2,000 miles since we've started driving it. We are at 172,567. Um, what else? The windshield is cracked. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that to you guys yet. My windshield cracked. And it was... It, it's been a few hundred miles now or so. Maybe a little bit longer than that. But it started off... Uh, there's snow and stuff. I don't know if you can see it. Right around there. Something hit the windshield. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So something hit my windshield and it cracked all along here. It's, it's kind of faint right now. You can see a lot better on the inside, but it started cracking along the bottom on this side and eventually, within a matter of days, it cracked its way over to the driver's side. Luckily, it's toward the bottom of the windshield. It's not running into my uh, line of sight or you know something so you can really see it there 
and she goes down there and I'm sure it's probably cracked elsewhere so the kicker is you guys know I just had the windshield <laughs> resealed I had a company reseal the windshield for me because um, we were getting water through the very top where the weather stripping and over here where the weather stripping was uh, coming off so they resealed it from the inside and the outside and it was literally probably about a week week and a half later the crack showed up on that side so something hit it at some point I don't know when it was so the windshield is cracked I told the guy who did the windshield I said it you know it cracked and um, he said I shouldn't have to worry about the water getting in or anything like that um, he said if you can if you can you know if it's not in your way or anything like that you can live with it and honestly guys I'm gonna live with it I'm not putting a windshield on this car unless I absolutely have to um, it's not even the original windshield anyway it was it was replaced once before so we're just going to deal with it as is and now for the kicker the the situation that I want to tell you guys about the reason why I'm going to the junkyard uh, today the six disc CD changer drive broke on me guys this is probably my most favorite thing in the car is the sound system and not just any sound system this is the top end AM FM six disc CD changer with the 10 speaker pioneer sound system uh, I'm a little peeved because the six disc mechanism in this specific stereo I had changed when I bought the car and I found a good working one and what happened was I went to go put a CD in the other day so I ejected one of the discs out of it and I hit the load button it told me to insert the new CD put the new CD in and something inside once it took the CD something went crack and then the mechanism was making all kinds of weird noises and whatnot and I was ticked guys I mean I was absolutely peeved when that happened so needless to say what I'm gonna try to do today is uh, we're gonna go to the local you pull it over in Youngstown they have three Aztecs on their lot at the moment uh, an 01 an 04 and I think an 05 if I'm not mistaken something like that but we're gonna see if one of those three have this stereo um, and uh, hopefully um, we you know we can get the disc changer out of it now I don't necessarily have to resort to the Aztec because this six disc CD changer was also available in some uh, Chevy's GMC's um, you know it, they kinda carried the same thing um, or during this time period so um, if I could find like a I don't know maybe a trailblazer that might have this st uh, specific stereo or a Monte Carlo or an Envoy or something like that I can always use the changer from that because it is the same stereo the face might be slightly different but I'm not using the face I'm gonna do exactly what I did last time and that is we're gonna buy a $20 stereo if it's $20 and uh, we're going to take this one out again um, and we're going to tear open the unit we're going to swap the drives and we're gonna go from there and if I happen to buy one that's you know not working uh, I don't know what they'll do for me, but I'm, I'll try to find the newest one I can. If, the, if none of the Aztecs have them, then we'll move on to, like I said, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll leave with one today. Um, and if that doesn't work, guys, if, if, I, if I can't get this to work again, then I, I did find on eBay um, a seller who is selling an all-new all unit. Um, you know with the sticker still on it and everything like that I'm pretty sure it's the same seller that I bought my Grand Prix stereo from when when I had to replace it I bought a brand new OEM uh, Delco CD player from this guy and yeah it worked perfectly it was unlocked so we don't have to we didn't have to um, have uh, you know a scan tool or anything to program the stereo to the car um, so I'm gonna go that route I don't know when I'll be able to do it um, but 
if, if that's the case but I figure you know we'll try the $20 route first um, and just hope for the best so let's get our butts to Youngstown and I know I know the comments are coming why don't you just buy an aftermarket stereo no you guys should know by now that I'm not a huge fan of aftermarket products unless it's an absolute last resort I will not do anything aftermarket, especially when it comes to, um, you know, newer cars and these, like, I, I don't know if this car necessarily has to have it, but in some of these GM cars, you have to have a, not only a new unit, but you have to, you have to have a bypass box uh, just to get the stereo to work. I'm not doing that, guys. You know that. This one's got the single disc. So no go for us. Uh, we need to find the other two. It too is an 04. And single disc. So, oh, you want to talk about sunroof problems, huh? <laughs> well, here's our last one. This was this the 01. Looks like the sides might have been repainted. Black door handles, it was a base from the looks of it. Maybe not. Black door handles, the badging's gone. Oh, one. Oh, it's got the wing on it. How uncommon for an 01 unless somebody put that there. Those lights look fantastic. Not that, that one's got water in it, but they look a lot better than mine. Oh, let's take a look. Ooh. Ooh, we got the leather. Ooh, we got the leather, guys. We don't have a stereo. Stereo's gone. Oh, look at these seats. I want these. Oh, I want these seats, guys. <laughs> Uh, obviously, this one's a little worn. You can tell. What is this? This is a light that doesn't even belong in here. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> Look in the mirror. Huh? What's that? Oh, they painted the bezel. That's kind of cool. Looks appropriate. Did have the Pioneer sound system. Somebody took the uh, speakers in the stereo, like I said. Guys, I want these seats. I can't buy them. I can't buy them today. Those are nice. 
the leather is hard to come by, I believe. This door doesn't want to shut. There we go. Wow. Okay, so no CD player. Um, we're going to have to uh, scour some other GM vehicles. Oh, guys, I've been scouring so many GM cars looking for this six disc CD changer. Every one that I was looking in either had the single disc from that time period or it had uh, no stereo. But just as I was getting ready to leave, I found this 06 Buick Rendezvous. And wouldn't you know, it's got the six disc that I'm looking for. Now the only thing I'm not too happy about is the fact that it's already opened up. Um, hopefully that sunroof wasn't leaking or anything because that water's gonna go right down onto there. Windshield cracked. Um, I obviously don't want to get into this car. But, it does have the stereo that I'm looking for. So, uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna take the chance and hope that it'll work. So, let's get it out. At least, at least it's already torn apart. That's another good thing. So I just need to get the uh, Phillips screwdriver, I think, if those are the same bits. Get the three screws out and we'll be good to go. Guys, it's colder out here than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Number three. I don't really need those. Need water. No. When was this made? June of 04 is the manufacturer date. That one's got an additional uh, wiring harness that goes to it. I wonder why. Mine only has this one here. This one has this. But that shouldn't affect the disk drive. Okay. Well, let's take the chance and see what happens. All right, guys. There we go. We got our stereo. Um, we will be uh, putting that changer in today. From here, uh, we're gonna go to my mom's because uh, there's a bookshelf that I actually have had for years and years and years and years. And um, it was actually, my sister was using it for uh, a while when she was still living at home. And my, when my sister moved out, it's not getting used anymore and we can use it in our one spare room of the house so we're gonna go see if we can pick that up now this bookshelf is that was a really big manhole right there um, the bookshelf is about as tall as I am which is about six feet um, not 100% sure if it'll fit in here, I think it will. I don't know if we're gonna be able to close the uh, the gate or not in the back, or if I gotta take the seats out. I don't know, but we'll definitely have to fold the seats down. But I'm thinking I should be able to carry the bookshelf in in the Aztec. It'll be the first time since the Aztec has been running that I've actually had to use it for some sort of uh, I don't know purpose, <laughs> trans 
to transport a large item. Um, so we'll see how well that goes. In the meantime, let's take a look at some uh, going home traveling footage now. I don't even know why I doubted for a second that this shelf wasn't even going to fit. With the hatch closed, the Aztec is king. Now that shelf is just a little over six feet, I believe. It's uh, I'm about six feet tall. It is slightly a couple inches taller than me. I did have to move the passenger seat up just a little bit, but even uh, even before I moved the seat up. It pretty much sat all the way into the car, but the hatch was just a little, little tiny bit off from closing, so bumped up the seat a little bit, and she is in. Let's go home now, try to get the stereo to work. Alright, we're home now. Uh, let's get to it. I didn't even put the stuff back in to hold this down because I knew it was going to be coming back out probably in a matter of moments. Move the cooler. Now we can move this around a little bit. Place that there. The two screws for the bottom of this thing here I left out. Find a way to grab it. There it goes. One of these days I'm probably gonna end up breaking it. Hope not. There we go. Open the door, kill the power. Look at how easy and fast this is. It's like I've done this so many times. <laughs> I could probably do this with my eyes closed at this point. I mean, sheesh. Make sure these don't fall out onto the floor where we can't get them. So I am seriously contemplating on um, getting those leather seats. Um, I don't know how to get the seats out of here. The back seats are easy. My God, I can go get those and stuff, but I'm not just going to buy the back seats. I want the front seats too. Um, the leather has its advantages and stuff. Um, it also has a lot of disadvantages. I was thinking this car does not have air conditioning. So in the summertime, that is going to be awful. But at the same time, it's the rare leather seats, man. Rare. Okay, antenna. Um, so I'm really contemplating on whether I want to go and get those or not. Come on out. That one's always a pain. Hold on.
Now see this, this, this stereo has that port also. Oh, maybe it's the rear audio controls. That rendezvous did have rear audio um, in the center console. That's probably what this is. This doesn't have that, so. Okay, we got our stereo. Um, our new slightly used stereo is right here. Let's go see if we can swap disk drives and hope that it works. Okay. Mine, new one. See the slots are still there. Here's the face. They're exactly the same behind them. Gotta be careful with the pins. Those pins go directly into the board for your front functions. So now there's two bolts on the front of each of these. There's two bolts on the back of each of these. I think. Make sure that there's yeah, two and two and two, and I think it's that three sixteenths again. It is. So let's go ahead and take these out and get them swapped. Okay, old one, um, new one. So now we have undid the drive assemblies. You can see they are both loose. Now basically the only other thing that we need to do now to completely remove these is we need to undo this very tiny wiring connector. Might, oh, there we go. And, uh, oh. oh, that's not good. I broke that one. Shoot. Anyway, so here's the old one, hollow, destroyed, and our new one, it's got the slots, it's got the springs, all that stuff. Um, where's that little arm at? Can you see that? what arm broke? I don't see it. It, it, was, it was from this side, you can kind of see some of the assembly, but there's an arm there. I think that's it right there. Yeah, that little plastic arm, that's what broke. I think that's maybe what pushes the CD toward the uh, the drive, like the uh, rollers. So maybe that's why it wasn't doing anything. So uh, we'll go ahead and plug it in, and I guess uh, if need be, I could always I could swap that too. Maybe I will just to be on the safe side. It's the exact same uh, wiring, so I might pull that from here because I can't believe that tore. Okay, so it's all tied down, hooked up, switched the little harness, I just stuck this one here for the time being, and like I said, we'll take the broken one, we'll just let it sit in there, hopefully this will work. Um, so we'll get the face back on it, and we'll take it outside and hook it back up and see what happens. Okay guys, so she's plugged in. Accessories going. Uh, so it does say there's discs inside. Let's see if we can reset this. The trays do move. Okay, so we reset that, so there's, it knows that there's nothing in there. Oh, let's pull something out of here. What did I leave in here that I can just throw in there real quick? Throw in some offspring, I guess. So, turn it on. Oh, that still works. We're going to load our first disc. <laughs> here it goes. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's a good sign. Alright, so I don't think this drive is going to be any good. Okay, that was weird. Okay, let's take it out. Let's try this again. Okay, insert one. Oh, 
Oh, okay, it's playing. Uh, okay, so that's a little weird. I wonder what the deal is with that. Huh. <laughs> Let's try to load another disc on top of that one. Oh my god. We'll just throw this one in there. Okay, okay so just the first disc it does that? Um, let's try another one. What else can I pull out of here real quick? I just got a bunch of random CDs in here. We'll try this one here. Okay, so they all seem to go in just fine. That first one acts a little weird. Okay, so we got that to play. Now let's go back to our first disc here. So it, it plays it, it goes back to playing it, and all the other discs seem to, to go, uh, you know, in and out okay. We'll eject this one. Okay, so that's out, it's going to pick up disc two. playing disc 2. So if I want to reinsert this, I just want to see how it acts when it tries to grab it. Perfectly fine. Um Okay. Well, I'm I'm going to consider this a win I mean for 20 bucks um, it is changing the discs it seems to be playing okay um, I don't know what the deal is with the one you know wanting to come back out and stuff maybe it was a, a learning procedure or maybe there is going to be another issue down the road but um, I mean for the most part it, it seems to be doing its job okay let's go to number three It's playing. Um, all right. Go ahead and eject all of these. Okay. I'm going to consider it a win. Alright guys, so that's it. That's going to conclude today's vlog. It's all put back together. Um, everything is assembled. It looks like it was never even messed with. In the meantime, I guess I'm just going to have another junk stereo to put into the basement with the other one that I originally <laughs> took the disk drive out of. Um, so yeah, hopefully this will last, you know, a while. Um, it seems to be operating fine uh, for the time being. and. Hopefully I'll be able to get, you know, a lot of use out of it before it decides to, to crap out on me. Uh, hopefully it won't crap out at all. But, um, yeah, that was a tough find, man. Every, every damn vehicle that I tried to find from that specific time period just did not seem to have this. And then I was about to call it quits and I saw that last rendezvous sitting there and looked in it and there it was. So... It worked out. It's working out pretty well at the time, and uh, 
that's pretty much all that I've got for today, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. You know, we made a trip to the junkyard, got to look at a couple of other techs real quick, and we got to haul something in the tech for the first time, something useful. And it did a really, really good job. So guys, that's it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Also check out teespring.com slash stores slash Mike's Vehicle Spotlight for all of your MVS and vlog merchandise. That's it. I'm going to go do something else now. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much again for watching. Take care.